The beauty of the feminine. I want to tell you a story about when I was working on this latest edition of the book and I got to the submission of the 31st century and I was sitting there in my chair in my bedroom and I was just having this conversation with the Lord and I went, I was pretty good at that submission stuff in my marriage. And the Holy Spirit, the way only He can do, whispered to me, yeah, but you weren't strong. And I went, whoa, <laughs> whoa, you cannot submit the way that biblical submission is if you're not strong, if you're not brave and confident and focused as a woman. You cannot submit. Submission is a choice. Otherwise, as you mentioned earlier, it's slavery. You know, the way that it's, I actually wrote a blog post on that. And the blog post was, submission doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Why submission doesn't work? Well, if it means roll over and do whatever he says, then that's not, who wants to sign up for that? That's crazy. So working on ourselves is our best effort, our best investment, I should say, our best investment in our marriages is to make sure we're on the right track. Because we're created to be there for Him, to inspire Him, to influence Him, and to invite Him into a deeper understanding of life. The passion of the masculine, we just saw that in the clip. Oh my gosh, these guys will go after stuff like you wouldn't believe. And even the more art type, the, the more tender-hearted guys, not the macho ones, but the more artsy, they are very passionate as well. They just express it in a different way. Very masculine, but just a different expression of it. And masculinity is on a huge continuum, just like femininity is. There's so many ways that you can do that, but the core value is the same. It's in a man's DNA to be the leader. It's a man's DNA to protect. It's in a man's DNA to provide. The households where it gets flipped around and the woman becomes the bread earner and the, the bread winner, <laughs> I always forget, I always say that wrong, the bread winner, then, uh, and the dad is the stay at home parent, it can work on the short term but it will eat at him. It will eat at him. So keep that in mind. And my whole belief about marriage is that it can actually be better than Eden. When you learn the art and the science of love, that you have the Holy Spirit living in you, you have a constant guide and companion, you just gotta know what it is you're looking for.